Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dustin. I'm a software engineer at Dolt Hub, working on our latest product, Dolt Lab. Dolt Lab is just like dolthub.com, except it's an on-prem solution that you can self-host and self-manage. Dolthub.com is software as a service, so we run it for you, and you can push and pull your Dolt databases to dolthub.com. If you're uncomfortable pushing your data to the public internet, Dolt Lab is the solution you're looking for. You can run this yourself. You can run it on a local desktop, a local machine. You can run it on a cloud, but it doesn't require any cloud resources. So we're really excited to show you guys how this works. It's pretty quick. And right now, it's really easy to get going. Um, there's not going to be a lot to do except install some dependencies and run a script. So let's jump right in. Okay, so to start, I have here in front of you a terminal where I've SSH'd into a Linux host running Ubuntu. Um, and currently, Dolt Lab version 0 0.2 uh, is only supported on Linux. So uh, you can download the zip file. Uh, I've included a link in the blog that accompanies this video. Um, but what you're seeing right now is just a shell to a Linux machine. And what we're gonna do is copy and paste a bunch of commands that I've included in the very first blog post where I announced Dolt Lab and uh, put those in a terminal. It's gonna install some tools uh, that we need to run Dolt Lab. Uh, Dolt Lab currently is set up to run on Docker Compose. Um, and so let's get started. Uh, as you can see, um, it's really as simple as copying and pasting the commands that I've outlined in the very first blog uh, that you want to run. Um, and we're going to install Docker, Docker Compose, um, make, unzip, and that's what you'll need to unzip the folder once you download it. Um, and that's basically it. As we go here, we'll also do a couple sanity checks just to make sure that the installation for our tools uh, was successful. I apologize for the uh, shaking screen. Um, I was switching back and forth between de desktops and uh, got that, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you guys can read it okay, but really it's just copying and pasting commands here. And again, Dolt Lab doesn't require any cloud services, so it'll just use a local disk on the host where you want to run this. So the only thing you need to make sure you do is give the host enough disk to support uh, the amount of data you want to have on Dolt Lab as users are using it. Um, and we have Docker successfully installed. You can see the version there. Now we're going to install Docker Compose. And we have Docker Compose successfully installed. We run a couple commands uh, that I've also included in the blog just to make sure that we don't need to run Docker with sudo uh, in this instance. And again, just a quick sanity check to make sure that works. So Docker PS is working correctly. Uh, now we need to install our credentials helper so that we can pull from the public ECR repository where Dolt Lab services, um, the images are hosted. All right, it's chugging along.
Okay, we have our creds helper installed. Now we're going to write the config for that creds helper. Simple one-liner. And now we just download the latest release of Dolt Lab, which is a zip folder. And we unzip it into a Dolt Lab folder. We CD into the Dolt Lab folder. And uh, you'll also see in the posts included with this video and previous posts, there's a few environment variables we'll need to set in order to configure the email server that Dolt Lab will use to send emails. Uh, so I've included a blank string here um, for the sensitive environment variables, but you'll want to fill those in and make sure that uh, the start Dolt Lab script will be able to read those. So. Okay, so let's pretend that I filled those in with actual credentials for an AWS SES email service. And now inside the Dolt Lab folder, you'll see that there's only four files, including a Docker Compose YAML file that will run the services. Then we pass in the remaining environment variables we need to start Dolt Lab, and we can just run the script, which is host IP, the passwords for Postgres, the email host, and the email port. And that's really it. So the start Dolt Lab script will do the rest. It's going to pull the images down, set up the volumes that you need, and start the services in the background. Uh, so it will start Docker Compose in daemon mode. Cool. So then it'll create the required networks, volumes, and it'll start creating these uh, Docker images and running them. And that's it. So now we have Dolt Lab running, all the services running, and we can verify by running Docker PS. And we can see here all the services running as expected. Uh, so it's important to know. Uh, that you have the correct ports configured. So I'll make sure to include those ports that you need open on the host so that Dolt Lab runs correctly. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you should be good to go. Okay, so once Dolt Lab is running, we can head over to the host IP's address in the browser. Um, we don't uh, serve Dolt Lab uh, on a secure connection, so it's just HTTP, um, and then you can put the host IP or the DNS name um, if you resolve it to an IP, uh, but head over to the browser um, and you should see uh, this very basic home page that looks uh, kind of like a pared down Dolt Hub, but uh, gives you the functionality you're looking for. Uh, that you can host yourself. So right now there's no databases or users. So to start, we'll head over to the sign-in page and we'll go to create an account and we'll be the first user and sign up with our email address to start using Dolt Lab. And this will send us an email asking us to verify. Uh, for now, I'm going to st skip this step, but you can see on the welcome page, you have some instructions for how to install Dolt, how to authenticate your local Dolt client. Um, let's go ahead and create our first database here, and we'll call it test. You can probably hear my cat in the background. Settle down, Chewy. And we'll call it test okay and then here on getting started uh, again just uh, some quick information for how you can start to push data if you have a local adult database um, but we're going to go ahead and use the sql console here and just create our first table 
in our database. We'll also call our table test. And we'll run this. And it works just like Dolt Hub. Uh, so you can see we created a workspace. There's the diff. We can see that we are creating a table. Um, so you get the same functionality you expect it in Dolt Hub uh, right here. And let's go ahead and commit this. All right, we made our first table. Um, and let's go ahead and add some data using the spreadsheet editor. And we can see the diff just like we do on dolthub.com. And let's commit these changes and it automatically opens a new pull request. We can view the diff for this pull request and we see our changes there. Three rows added. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's get this merged in. So we can add a comment. and merge. All right, and let's go back to database and refresh. We see our data there. Um, we can see the commit we made in the commit log right there. And if we go to the databases page, uh, we see we now have our database there with the data in it ready to go. Just a reminder to verify our email, which we can do later. Uh, but that's basically it. So Dolt Lab works the same as Dolt Hub, um, but you get to run and manage it yourself. Um, and we tried to make it as simple as possible to get started. Um, so we hope you guys check it out. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. It should just be a few dependencies to install and starting a script and then you should be ready to go. Thank you guys for watching.